is. Well, I could never have gotten my spring cleaning done without you two. Neat and tidy. Yep, everything's in its place. You know, the messy makeup shop's never been so organized. I can hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job sorting these, Harriet. Now, everyone, please keep an eye out for the missing glue lid. Hmm. Okay. What are these for, Aunt T? My fuzzy fabric scraps. Someday they are going to come in handy. I just haven't figured out what to make with them yet. Put them over there, Franklin, and then our spring cleaning will be done. Okay. Uh, whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Glue lid! Careful, Franklin. Don't step on it. I don't see it. We're... Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> I caught the glue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you sure did. For sure. Eh. Hmm. Hey, what do you have there? It looks like a little creature. Oh, it's so cute. I guess I made it by accident when I fell. The glue on your hands somehow stuck to all the bits and pieces in just the right way. Wow, coolio. Some of the best inventions in the world were made by accident. You're right. This little guy is my invention. What are you going to call it? Every invention needs a name. Hmm. It looks like a little creature that can live in woodland. And it's fuzzy, so how about a woodland fuzzy? Woodland fuzzy! Woodland fuzzy! Looks like the name's a hit. Can I have a woodland fuzzy, Franklin? Please? Wow, looks like it's a hit, too. <laughs> you think you can make another? I can try. I must have gotten glue in the middle and kind of bunched it up here, and... Purple, please. There you go, Harriet. Your very own Woodland Fuzzy. Thank you, Franklin. <laughs> Is it okay if I go now, Aunt T? Beaver's made up a new game she wants to show everyone. Underwater Explorers. Ooh, that sounds great. Have fun. Thanks, Aunt T. See ya. So... Underwater explorers works like this. We pretend there's treasure at the bottom of the sea and Hi the- Hi everyone. Huh? Yeah. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. Beaver just started explaining underwater explorer. Hey, what's that? What? This little thing, it's just my new invention. It's so sweetie weedy weedy. Look at it. Hi little guy. I call it a woodland fuzzy. A woodland fuzzy? Ooh. Aww, it's perfect. Glad you all like it. So, how do we play Underwater Explorers, Beaver? Forget Underwater Explorers. I want a Woodland Fuzzy. Me too, me too. Can you show us how to make that, Franklin? Definitely. Hey, Franklin, like this? These are so hey, look cute. at this. <laughs> this, this is, is awesome. Fun. Your Woodland Fuzzies are such a great idea, Franklin. They are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that looks yeah. great. Sure. Thanks, guys. And you know what? I just had another idea. We can add different special touches. Look, I gave mine a little turtle shell. Cool. Sweet. Wow. Wow. How cute is that? I'm going to make mine awesome, too. Yeah. Me, Me too. Oh. Maybe I'll try wings. Great. <laughs> well, so what you think? <laughs> Great, Auntie. Cool. <laughs> well, I think you've Sweet. created a sensation, oh. kiddo. Good for you. Sounds fun. Oh. For sure. Hey, I knew that. Aw, look at the little pixie crown you put on yours, Goose. I love it. Sweet sunglasses, Beaver. It even kind of looks like you. Aww. A woodland fuzzy with a skateboard could only be yours, Ox. So, what do you think of my honeybee stripes? I love them. <laughs> Sweet. Great. Nice touch, Bear. Let's see yours, Rabbit. Good job. Harry Rabbit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your woodland fuzzy, Snail? I don't see it. That's because he's super teeny tiny. Just like me. So cute. It's so teeny. Oh, teeny. That was so fun, Franklin. Yeah. Should we go play Underwater Explorers now? Sure. Good idea. Okay, yeah. I'm in. But I thought we were having fun with the fuzzies. We were. They're great. But we finished making them, right? Yeah. Now it's time for a new game. Oh, Underwater right. Explorers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Fuzzies aren't just things you make. They're a game, too. Huh? They are? How? Well, you pretend they're your pet. And there's lots you have to do to keep them happy. Ooh, that sounds good. Like what? Well, if there are pets, um, walks. Fuzzies need walks twice a day. Like 
On a leash? No, like on your head. Oh. 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 Do we have to keep them balanced there? <laughs> yup. <laughs> <laughs> what else do woodland fuzzies like, Franklin? Um, they need to be fed. Fresh grass from the park. Okay, Franklin. Okay. okay. So fuzzies like to be walked and they like feeding time. Is there anything they don't like? Yes, they don't like getting wet. Ever. In fact, shh, you can't even mention water around them or they'll shrivel up. <gasps> really? Oh, oh, no. I think mine's had enough to eat. Can we play underwater explorers now? Shh. What? You said water. Oh, sorry, fuzzies. I'm with Rabbit. Let's play the other game now. No, uh, because after feeding time, it's, um, it's... It's what, Franklin? It's... Exercise hour! Fuzzies need exercise big time. Huh? What? But I thought walking was their exercise. It was, but uh, they also need to exercise their flying. Like this, the fuzzy fling. <laughs> Woohoo, fuzzy fling! <laughs> fuzzy <laughs> fling! Fuzzy fling! <laughs> You really like woodland fuzzies, don't you, Franklin? Of course, I invented them. Hey, I've got another idea! Woo! Ha, <laughs> oopsie. Why don't we all get in a circle and toss them back and forth to each other? Good idea. Yes. Do it, do it, do it. I like that idea. Okay. Sweet dreams, Franklin. What are you writing about? Well, everyone loved my woodland fuzzies so much, I'm thinking of a bunch more things to do with them when we play tomorrow. And the day after that, too. Are you just about finished? It's bedtime, sweetie. Oh, okay, Mom. Mwah. Good night, Franklin. Good night, Mom. And good night, Fuzzy. <laughs> good night, Fuzzy. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Playing underwater explorers. Yeah. We're searching for a big treasure. You shouldn't have your fuzzy out here, you know. We're at the bottom of a deep sea trench. Yeah, this is no place for a fuzzy. There's water. But I thought we were going to play woodland fuzzies again. We played with them yesterday. It's time for something different. Come on, Franklin. Help us find the super big treasure. Come on, let's go. Are you guys sure you don't want to play fuzzies again? <sighs> a super big treasure, huh? How can that be more fun than playing with a cute little thing like you? You're so cute. Who is the cute little fuzzy you are? That's it. I know what will make them want to play with you again. Let me see. So what are we doing here, Franklin? No one wants to play with the old fuzzies anymore, so I'm going to make them a special extra big one. Hold on. They told you that? They don't like their old ones anymore? Well, no, but I can tell they don't because they aren't playing with them. I figure they'll like a super big one even better. I guess since you invented the fuzzies, they're pretty important to you, huh? You bet. Come on, we've got to hurry. Okay then, one super big woodland fuzzy coming up. Away! The treasure's clear, everyone. Look what I've got. What? I've got. A super big man-eating sea monster. Awesome! Huh? No, it's it's a super big woodland fuzzy. And look how fun it is, especially at exercise time. Whoa! <laughs> um, but why do we need a super big fuzzy, Franklin? Because bigger is better. Yes, is. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? What are you talking about? Say what? What's going on, Franklin? Woodland fuzzies are meant to be little. We love them that way. You do? But, but you're not playing with them. We're just not playing with them right now. We still love our fuzzies. Yeah, we can't play woodland fuzzies all the time, Franklin. I don't play with any of my toys all the time. That's yeah. Right. yeah, that would be me boring. Neither. Oh boy, now I feel really silly. 
I thought you weren't playing with them because you didn't like them anymore. What are you talking what? about? Huh? What do you mean? What? We <laughs> love them. We love Silly. them, buddy. I guess because I invented the woodland fuzzies, I wanted to keep on playing with them forever. Hmm. You know, guys, I just realized something. We don't have to do that, do we? There's a time and place for everything. And right now, it's time to do some underwater... Shh. Water! Right. It's time to do some... Exploring! Yeah. Yeah. Look out! The man-eating sea monster's coming! Swim, swim, swim! <laughs> swim everyone, swim! Oh, no! Before you go, how are your group show and tell projects coming along? Oh, 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 Mr. Owl, Fox and I are doing ours about rocks. Excellent choice, Rabbit. Goose? Bear Snail and I picked something really neat for our show and tell, but it's a surprise. But it rhymes with Flutterby. Bear? What? Our show and tell will be a big surprise, too. Right, Beaver? Right. Franklin and I are going to rehearse at his house after school. I can't wait to see what you've all come up with. This very lovely music box is special to me because I gave it to my gran. I mean, she gave it to me. In fact, it belonged to her when she was just an older girl, not much littler than me. Oops. I mean, a little girl, not much older than me. In conclusion, I would have to say this music box is my favorite. That wraps up our tell part of the presentation. And now for the show part. I present Franklin! Thank you, Beaver. He wrote a song to go along with my music box. Take it away, Franklin! Ooh. <laughs> Twirl, spin, hop and bop. It's got a beat that doesn't stop. Neato dancer and cool yo beat makes me want to move my feet and shall spin out. Yay! Thank you! Yay! Thank, Thank you. you! Thank you! What did you think of our show and tell, Harriet? I like the ballerina and the song. Where are you going? To ask Mom something. Mom! Can I get a music box like Beaver? I like your song too, Franklin. Well, I like that you picked such a cool yo thing for our show and tell. I better get going. Want to meet before school tomorrow morning to practice some more? Sure. Great. In fact, I'm going home to practice my presentation until I get it perfect. Starting now. Good night, Franklin. Bye, Franklin. This very lovely music box. Bop. It's got a beat that doesn't. Hey, buddy. <gasps> Morning, guys. Ready to get started, Beaver? Actually, Franklin. It's all right if you're not. We have until tomorrow to practice. <sighs> Are you okay? Usually you're the one doing all the talking. But that's just it. Beaver's mom called my mom this morning because when Beaver woke up, her voice was gone. My mom examined her and said that Beaver must have strained her voice practicing her presentation over and over. She's going to be fine, but she has to rest her voice and not talk for a whole week. But our show and tell, we had it all planned out. Maybe I could do both parts of the show and tell. I know your part. Oh, right, I understand. Your music box is really special to you, and so it wouldn't be fair if I did it without you, would it? Well, then we'll just have to think of something else to do for our show and tell. Let's meet at recess to figure it out, okay? I'm sure you've all heard by now about Beaver losing her voice. She'll be all better soon enough. But until then, let's all do our best to help her out. Oh, no. Does that mean that she and Franklin can't do their show and tell this week? Actually, we don't want to wait a whole week and miss the fun. So we are going to do a show and tell. But we're going to do a different one than we planned on. Very well. But remember, you can have an extension for a week if you realize you need it. Now then. Let's start off the day with a riddle. What has two hands and a face, but no eyes or feet? Yes, Beaver? Mr. Owl, if Beaver can't answer the riddle, I can. Thank you, Rabbit. But if she knows the answer, perhaps there's another way for her to tell us. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 
A clock has a face and two hands. Good one, Beaver. Indeed. Drawing the answer was an excellent idea. Hmm. <laughs> Over here! Over here! Over here. <laughs> no, no, no. Here, Beaver. These are for you. We need a new idea for a show and tell, right? I know you can't talk, but you can draw pictures, just like in class. So, how did you get the idea to use your grand's music box? Hmm, a heart? I don't get it. You picked something you really liked? I'm right? Maybe we just have to find something else you like. Me? What about me? Oh, we should find something that I like, that's special to me, the way your music box is to you. Hmm, but I'm not sure about my favorite. Hey, that's my house! But I'm not sure what my house has to do with our show and tell. Oh, you want us to go there? To look for something? Okay, how about after school? I don't know, Beaver. I'm not sure I have anything as neat as your music box to bring in for show and tell. What is it? Oh yeah, my rock collection would make a coolio show and tell. Only, how do we do it together? What is it, Beaver? Oh, okay, you want me to guess? You're something that hops. A kangaroo! A uh, frog! No, uh, a grasshopper! <laughs> Rabbit! But what about him? Oh, right. Rabbit and Fox are doing rocks for their show and tell. Then we can't do that. Hmm. Hey, I've got an idea! Come on! Mom and Dad let me plant my own vegetables this year. I can tell everyone about doing that. And you can show them how to make salad from them. What? What is it, Beaver? Hmm. Drat, you're right. The lettuces do look too small to pick. Maybe the carrots are ready. Whoa! <gasps> Thanks, Beaver. <sighs> I give up. These carrots are way too tiny. I'm running out of ideas. Huh? You have an idea? Let me guess. Uh, something about birds? An airplane? A, a windmill? Beaver! Sorry, Beaver. I don't get it. Oh, a bee was chasing you? Why didn't you say so? That was just a joke. Franklin, it'll be dinner soon. Oh, hello, Beaver. That means hi. Beaver can't talk for a week. Yes, I've heard. It's too bad about your singing show and tell. Do I have time to walk Beaver home, Mom? Maybe we'll think of something on the way. I don't see why not, sweetie. I'm sorry, Beaver, but I don't think we're going to find anything for a show and tell tomorrow. Hi, Aunt Turtle. Did you lose your voice too? <laughs> no, Franklin, but I hear the beaver lost hers. Yeah. That means we can't use her music box for a show and tell. She was gonna do the telling, and I was gonna do the singing. Wow, I am very impressed. You two are aces at communicating, even when one of you can't speak. I guess we are. It wasn't easy at first, but we figured it out. I see that. So wait a sec, why is it you're not going to show and sing the music box? Because it's special to Beaver, and since she can't talk, it wouldn't be fair. Well, if you ask me, Beaver seems to be getting her words across loud and clear. She's right! You can talk, Beaver, in your own way. I know how we can still do our show and sing tomorrow. I know you're all very excited to present your projects. So, who would like to go first? Oh, we will. Yes, Franklin. Go right ahead. You see, even when someone can't talk, there are other ways to understand them, like drawing pictures. Oh, I know what that is. It's Beaver's music box. Exactly. 
At first, when Beaver lost her voice, we decided not to show and tell her music box because we thought she couldn't tell you about it. But she just did, with a picture. Right, Bear. We realized that talking isn't the only way to communicate. There's another way Beaver can tell you the story of her music box. For example, where did the music box come from, Beaver? I know, I know. It, it was a gift. That's right. It was given to Beaver by someone really special. Hmm. hmm. A really nice raccoon? Uh, a really nice raccoon with glasses? Oh, 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 I know. It's Beaver's gran. She has glasses just like that. Aha! You got it, Goose. Oh, a heart. That means Beaver loves her music box. Right. Since the music box is so special to Beaver, we decided it was the perfect show and tell. Okay, Beaver says it's time for my part of our show. And sing! Neato! <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Twirl, spin, hop and bop. It's got a beat that doesn't stop. Neato dancer and coolio beat makes me want to move my feet and shell, spin, out! Yeah! Wow. Super so duper! Wonderful job, you two. That was indeed a very special show and tell. I mean, show and sing. Sweet. Thank you, everyone. Wow. From both of us. <laughs> <laughs>